here's a few things that you need to know about winter in the South, AKA the bad time. It gets ugly. Now I'm not talking about chaos in the piggly wiggly, let's stab a stranger ugly, cause it does that too. I'm talking, it is visually unappealing out there. Everything is dead, just mud and a seemingly never ending supply of clouds. So it's just a lot of brown and gray and it is nasty. Pretty sure that we are the reason seasonal depression medication exists and I am on it. And when we say it's freezing out there, just know that we mean pretty much anything 45 degrees and below. And yes, I know science says that it's 32 degrees and for those of you that are not freedom loving Americans at zero Celsius, I guess. When you hear us say it's freezing outside, just know that the temperature has dropped below 50 degrees and know that you'll never hear us say it's freezing out here because once we step out into that cold, we stop talking and revert back to a series of caveman grunts. You know talk it cold Ugh. and yes we are going to cancel school when it gets really cold out there because listen y'all them school buses get cold and nobody down here has a coat we got rain jackets and those are thinner than those plastic bags Walmart's been giving us. And I noticed that every time that we have to close stuff because it's cold out there, you Yankees just laugh it up. Like y'all don't do the exact same thing every time it gets above 100 degrees up there. Apparently y'all don't have air conditioning and nobody ever taught y'all that you can just open up a window and stick a box fan in there. Y'all's me mom not teach y'all anything? And yeah, we are terrible drivers on snow and ice. You know why? Because we don't treat the roads down here. We don't have the infrastructure for that. The trucks, the, the, the salt, the, I, I, honestly, I have no idea. We, we don't have it. One time it got real bad here and our county just dumped dirt on the road. And that, that helped. It helped to make frozen mud. And snow tires, true story. I did not even know that those were a real thing until I was like 28 years old. And then I just learned that y'all also put chains on your tires. Wow, I, I get why y'all are so angry sometimes because it looks like you're just going straight up Mad Max up there for like four months out of the year. And on the rare occasion that we get snow, what we're really getting is just slush. I mean, it looks like somebody just covered the ground with a dirty pina colada icy. I mean, yeah, and we still actually try to build little snowmen out of it, but that never works because our hands are covered in socks. We thought that we'd have gloves, but not a coat. And no, we don't all go panic buying bread and milk every time the weatherman says it's gonna snow. But if he says it's gonna stick, all bets are off. And just know that the further south you go, the more chaotic it's gonna get. If you tell us that we're gonna get a solid two inches of snow that'll stick, just know that from about Charlotte to Nashville, they're gonna panic, but they're not gonna stab a stranger in the Piggly Wiggly for the last gallon of milk. That's reserved for about the Birmingham to Atlanta region. And if that snow dares go south of like Montgomery to Jackson, we're gonna go full walking dead. A human will be biting another human, and there's nothing we can do about it. Lastly, as much as we don't know what we're doing in cold weather, we sure do love to talk about it. Seriously, go ask anyone down here over the age of 35 about the blizzard of 93 and they will talk your ear off about how they survived on potted meat and a prayer for a solid week. And ask anyone down here about snowmageddon 2014 and they will probably cry. Also, um, this is a toboggan. I don't care what y'all say. You think we need a name for a sled? We don't got sleds. Y'all got a name for properly seasoned food? I don't think so. 